and welcome to the second season of Regulatory Radio. I am Neha Ahuja and you're listening to the second episode of Regulatory Radio where we will be talking in brief about the advertising laws in regulated and semi-regulated markets across the globe. Today we are looking at the country down under, Australia, where Therapeutic Goods Administration or the TGA is the health authority. In Australia, the Therapeutic Goods Act of 1989, the Therapeutic Goods Regulations of 1990 and the Therapeutic Goods Advertising Code together form the regulatory framework of the therapeutic goods and direct-to-consumer advertising of medicines and medical devices. The TGA requires approval for the marketing of medicines for a variety of conditions ranging from serious diseases to psychotropic compounds. Whereas the Medicines Australia Code of Conduct or the MACC provides the guidelines for prescription-only medicines and the interactions to be had with the healthcare professionals, health consumer organizations and the public. It is important to note that the 2021 TGAC actually took effect earlier this year on the 1st of January 2022. This code regulates the content of advertising materials that are directed at consumers, including the warning statements, endorsements and testimonials, and scientific and clinical representations. When you're navigating the regulatory space, it's best to start with the basics. For example, how does the TGA Code of Conduct define advertising? The TGAC defines the term advertise in relation to therapeutic goods as any statement, pictorial representation or design that is intended, whether directly or indirectly, to promote the use or supply of the goods, including where the statement, pictorial representation or design is 1. on the label of the goods, 2. is on the package in which the goods are contained or 3. is on any material included with the package in which the goods are contained. When it comes to competition in the advertising space, the TGAC monitors competition between advertisers and has regulations set in place for comparative advertising. The TGAC cautions comparative advertisers to make claims that are accurate and capable of substantiation. The rule prohibits a comparison of claims about the harmful effects or the ineffectual properties of the drugs. Interactions with healthcare professionals and directly with the end consumers are mandated by the Medicines Australia Code of Conduct, MACC, housed within the TGA. The mandated information to be conveyed to HCP includes the brand name of the product and its API, a link to the minimum product information that captures the indications, and this is applicable in print and electronic publication, and a statement indicating the pharmaceutical benefit scheme, Medicare benefit scheme, National Blood Authority, National Immunization Program, or the life-saving drug program status of the product. Pharma expositions are an excellent playground for pharmaceutical companies, manufacturers, HCPs and sometimes the end consumer. To avoid misuse of this space, the MACC, under the direction of the TGA, monitors and regulates the scientific meetings conducted for the HCPs. The MACC, in its outlines of regulations for scientific meetings, instructs vendors and manufacturers that meetings will be strictly held for the purpose of scientific exchange between appropriate company personnel and HCPs. The sponsorship is limited to HCP and not to any other guests or dependents of the HCPs in attendance. Providing any such privileges would be considered as an incentive. Companies must ensure that the facilities chosen are not for their leisure, sporting or recreational facilities. The MACC holds organizations accountable on all these counts for the ethical conducting of a scientific meeting. While OTCs do not require a prescription to be administered, the advertisements should still relay correct information in the favour of the end consumer. Therefore, the TGA mandates that all direct-to-consumer advertisements of medicinal products must comply with the TG Act, 
the regulations and the TG advertising code. To conclude, in a strictly regulated and monitored market like Australia, the rules set forth by TGA and its initiatives serve the public's interest. Launching advertisements and promotions for medicinal compounds need to be thoroughly vetted to avoid retractions. Getting the advertisements and promotions reviewed prior to submission is a great way to avoid roadblocks in the path of a successful launch. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of our second episode of Regulatory Radio. Thank you so much for tuning into our podcast. We look forward to meeting you during our next episode where we discuss the ad promo laws in Lithuania. For any queries related to the Australian region, feel free to reach out to us in the comments section. You can also listen to the previous episodes by clicking the link pinned in the comments section below. Thank you for listening and see you next time.